Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're starting a new EO4 series. If you're wondering why well, my game looks a little different, I am running mods for uh, the graphics. Um, I switched to uh, the Imperator, Imperator Universalis mod, which um, changes the graphics to look a little more like Imperator. just wanted to change the pace, a little bit of a different um, visual aspect to my game. So I decided to go for that. I also have an Event Pictures mod as well. Um, I will link to those in the description of the video. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in those, uh, I do have those active. Um, besides that, uh, we are playing as Congo. We are going for the African Power Achievement. And uh, yeah, so the goal is to conquer all of Africa as the Congo. We are a fairly strong nation to start. Uh, we are the strongest nation in our region. We have no one we can rival. Uh, we do start with two subjects, so we can do quite a few things to start off. So, first things first, we are definitely going to go for all of um, the plus one mana point privileges. Those are going to be very helpful for us. Uh, we are also going to slap on religious diplomats. It'll just keep um, the countries around us a little bit more friendly for um, a short while, which will be useful. We're going to go for strong duchies and supremacy over the crown, as well as patronage of the arts and um, indebted to the burgers. I'm missing it. There it is. Indebted to the merchants guilds. Uh, we will summon a diet. Um, go for... Uh, we'll go for manpower here, sure. Uh, we will seize crownlands back. Um, do I want to go for religious culture? I don't think I want to do religious culture just yet. Um, so, yep, good on all those fronts. Uh, we do have a spare merchant. I don't think we can get him anywhere. No, he can't reach there. He can't reach there. He can't reach there. So he's kind of worthless right now. That's fine. We can make it work. Um, our ships, I'm definitely going to delete the transports. We have no need for transports right now. And, I mean, honestly, uh, these trade ships won't be doing anything for me. And they're just going to be costing me money right now. We don't need any of these. We'll build them up when we need them later. Uh, can we boost our stability? We cannot, cannot afford it. I don't even know if I'm worried about that right now. I'm going to just go for the um, advisory councils as well. It's going to raise our um, stability boost by a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal, and that's going to help us in the short term. Uh, we don't have a current cult selected. Um, I normally like to go for the Discipline Cult, just to give us that little edge on our enemies. We do have missions, a unique mission tree that was introduced with the... Um, I can't remember which update it was right now. It wasn't Leviathan. Yeah, it's not coming to me. But um, the mission tree does give us quite a few things and helps us make claims on all of our um, nearby countries uh, early on. Okay, so founding an army is the most important one first. We need to get up to 100% of our force limit. Our force limit is 14, and we can get ourselves a free company, which will do just that. So let's recruit them. We also need a military advisor. I will take a discipline advisor in a heartbeat. And then we can also go ahead and nab ourselves a trade efficiency guy and a prestige guy. Go for the prestige guy as well. Uh, we are currently making money once our uh, mercenary company builds, though we will not. Um, do I just want to recruit a general? Let's recruit a general now, because we're going to lose that army professionalism, so let's wait on that. Our leader's decent, but he's not great. Our heir is kind of the same boat. He's 9 points. 10 is the average, but he has really low admin and military. I might just can him, but I probably should have done that before I got... Patronage of the Arts. Eh, I'm not super, super concerned about it. 
Other than that, we'll work on them in short order. We'll get cults later on. We're working on getting there. Developing Congo once again. We're going to do that a little bit later on. Um, Anziku. We can attack once we finish building our armies. So now to play the waiting game, we will go ahead and set one of our diplomats to improve with our subjects. And then... Um, yeah, you know, we'll set them both to improve with our subjects. So we'll get our subjects going. And then, uh, yeah, let's get time moving along till December 11th when we can declare our war. Founding an army gives us claims on a ton of provinces. So, bam, we can claim all of that now. And now it is just a matter of figuring out who's going to be the best to attack. I am going to go ahead and give my roller military command. Um, instead of spending the points on an advisor. Or on um on a uh, general, and I don't do I want to focus? I probably want to focus admin actually. So let's focus admin because we are going to need those admin points. So once we get up to the eleventh, these guys don't have an ally. These guys don't have an ally. These guys do have an ally. Okay, so. Probably attack these guys for no. I don't have I don't have claims on them. <sighs> yeah, I do. Got to wait for my claims to trigger, I guess. There we go. They got an ally now. So, in Buha, okay. Then we'll attack you first. I will send in my army. And then we can put you guys over here. My army can come back down this direction. I don't need any allies. We'll work on getting that sieged. And now... Okay, alliance groups are growing. I would have liked to have gotten to this before the alliance has gotten too big, but what are you going to do? So, Kasanje and Yaka, we want to take Kalundwe, are back there. I can Kobladrake Kasanja, so we're going to do that. Our armies are equal in strength. So let's get this going as well. Take down that army very quickly. And we'll also take down this army as soon as we can. Always speed five your early wars. Okay, you guys can head on this way. Um, we will do that. We'll leave behind a sieging party and go down here. Take care of you guys. Get you up here. Uh, gold is a sign of the nobility, but I would much rather have the stability. Okay, we'll just try and white piece these guys, get them out of the war. Can't do much with them. I could have pushed for money and whatnot, but I'm going to want to attack them in short order anyway. The many interests of our roller. Um, laws of God amend physical world around us. Let's do that. Uh, this war I can end. I can take this province and take all of their money. And then we will core that up. You guys, I need to attack you as well. Luba, Kikonja, and Buha. So they do have a lot more men than we do. Okay, so if I separate piece these guys and take all their land, I can get 35 extra ducats. 
or I could just get 30 ducats and do it all with no Diplo points spent. Let's do that. We'll get all that cored up, and then we can go ahead and take care of that right there. That's going to give us some more claims onto all of these provinces, so we can now find a more prime target. So you are allied to Luba and Chakwe. Chakwe is allied to Lunda and Kazambe. Uh, we can go ahead and encourage divination. Uh, that's going to cause us minus one stability, but an increase. Or minus one unrest, but an increase to our stab cost modifier. I guess that's fine. Kikonja. And Luba. So I think I am going to attack Kuba. Because... Oh, uh, that was probably my ally. I probably should have just done that. That's fine. We'll take care of that in a little bit. Ngoyo. I'll wait to boost that whenever I get a chance later. Let's go ahead and attack you guys. Luba, Kikonja... And Buha. All right. Declare the war. Send both my armies up this way and get take care of their armies on their fort. Sounds good. And now we are just waiting to get access. There we go. Oh, they got it all the way around that way. We will decimate their armies. And we'll do the same thing as before. And simply white piece. Them. Well, and of course that's going to black flag me. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of all of our autonomy there. That's going to be useful and get us some copper. Army career, I will take tradition versus um, professionalism. So we're at 44 tradition. We could really boost up our tradition. Let's go ahead and do it. Tenth and the eleventh. Crush their army. Uh, we can get them out of the war. And then head back. You guys are going to be annoying for us, aren't you? Yeah, they're not going to let us do this until... That's taken care of. Um, what about you, Lunda? You are allied to Chakwe and Kalundwe. Munda and Kazambe. Okay, we have no manpower left. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I think I'm going to delete my cavalry, actually, because they are expensive. And then we should be able to recruit the Yaka Free Warriors. 
Uh, but that will cost me my 2% professionalism. It's not a big deal. Let's do it. Uh, we're going to need to use these Merc Companies early on. Big time. Okay. So, declare war on you. Bring in Chakwa. We get Kazambe in then and Kalundwe. be double cost for these provinces if I don't. 34 plus 31. Yeah, I can still do it. Okay, so I don't even need to co-belligerate, so. And I can't co-belligerate Kalundwe. So these guys can head up here. You can head over there. Clap the army again. Should be able to get you guys white pieced very quickly, right? Um, sure. Don't you guys want out yet? You are losing badly. You are losing very, very badly. Separatists, of course, that's going to happen. Come on, come on, come on. We are going to be able to take our crownlands soon. I just want you guys out of this war. Get them off our capital. Uh, I'm just going to go with some extra... Um, what extra on that unrest reduction and we are still in the positive money wise which is very good very surprising actually and as soon as they take this I can take both of these both of these so there we go once again it's going to cost me no diplo points I'm going to get 45 ducats back as well we can do another big chunk of coring. We can take another mission. This is going to give us uh, goods produced, perform progress. And colonists down in this area. Okay, and we got government reform progress, so we can go ahead with a martial society most likely. Yeah, let's go with martial society. More manpower is needed. Manpower is needed badly. Uh, we need to be at peace. Oh. Oh. I forgot about this. We'll peace you out as well. Also, core all of your provinces. Go ahead and Take the Cuban Conquest, which is going to give us infantry combat ability, prestige from battles, and even more claims. We have too few rivals. Our only valid rival is Mutapa. So we will rival them. Um, I do want to start building a spy network on them. Uh, these guys are both in good shape. So let's pull those back. Uh, Season Crownland won't do much for us at the moment. 
If we encourage development here, click, click, Take, get that taken care of, that'll get us some manpower, summon another diet, and go for less than one loan, that ain't gonna happen. Manpower 50%. The Master of the Mint would be useful, though. How could I go about this? How many loans do I have? Repay, repay, repay. And then I need, like, 40 ducats. Repay two more. Or one more. I need a little bit, just a touch more. Exploit some more. Is that enough? It is not. Exploit a tiny bit more. That's enough. Repay that loan. Get that completed. And then we can seize back some land. That'll get us up to 20 crownlands. And then we will reduce our autonomy everywhere. It's going to cause some rebellion issues in all of our new provinces. Uh, we're going to want to royal marry both of these guys. Um, they have no disloyalty. I'm just going to go ahead and slap out the Mani integration policy right now so I don't forget about it later. Um, we have some separatism brewing. Let's go ahead and get these guys to like hang out together up here. Attach our armies together. Uh, we can um, do that again and then um, set these guys to suppress the rebels. Just need to chill for a minute. Get back my money a little bit, rebuild my economy a touch. Uh, I should go through and actually get this Master of the Mint in action, since he's half price, and that will give us a chance for Radical Reforms. And now then, I I could wait to get Feudalism. Um, if I integrate both of these guys and then meet a... and wait to meet a... Um, what is it? Feudalism? Uh, I need to meet a European. So I'd have to wait for the Europeans to show up. Probably would happen by the time I do all this. Or I could start spending my points to spawn it. That's a tough choice. We're going to have to spawn the Renaissance as well. We're going to spawn most of our institutions. At this point, it's kind of a matter of where is the, where would be the cheapest place to even do something like that. Because these are all going to cost us way too much otherwise. So Soyo is the cheapest. I already have the Encouraged Development Edict. I probably would wait till I have Prosperity, though. But we are nice and big, nice and strong. We can make a claim on this province right here. Uh, I feel like Kilwa probably doesn't even know I exist. They do not. Visit from some shady people. I'll just take the prestige, actually. Our claims cover all of this stuff. Uh, I have truces with both of you guys, so can't expand to that direction anyway. London Separatists are coming soon.
pour everything up. We can also then go through and lower autonomy even more, right? Uh, Mutop is no longer a valid rival. Perfectly fine by me. Poor uniforms, losing morale of armies is not good. Get my claim fabrications going. I could release like Butua from them and reconquest their territories later. We're starting to make a ton of money which means we can support a much larger army. Cuban Separatists will get them taken care of, but I think I'm going to recruit another Merc Company. There we go. They'll get recruited. Uh, this army, why aren't you going up there? Are you? Is that not part of your suppression? It's not. Royal Fires, uh, Unrest, or an Autonomy Change. I'll go with the Autonomy Change. Agenda of the Diet. Moravi's opinion of me. Production and Malum. Where is Moravia? Let's just start improving relations with them. Uh, we're going to get both of our vassals annexed. Uh, unrest in Kumumba, or I don't care about unrest. We're uh, working our way through that. Uh, we will go ahead and annex these guys as well. send in our mercenary companies here. And then uh, this army can actually head back and chill. Uh, we will break off this mercenary company as well. And we're just going to connect all of these guys up. Diplomatic insult, cast a spelly, or just improve relations with everybody. Definitely much better to just improve relations with everybody. I am at a point where I could take tech, but I don't think that's going to happen. Not quite yet. Uh, that is going to ruin our growth here. Um, this is where we want to spawn the institution at, so... I definitely would like my prosperity to grow. Um, let's boost our stability again. I'm actually going to boost it up twice. That's taken care of. We can go ahead and get rid of you. Okay, so we could finally... Transfer trade power from here with our second merchant, so let's do it. Both those integrations are done. We can get even more mercenaries, that's good, but we also got all of these men. We can go ahead and delete those transports. We've integrated our subjects, which will give us... Oh, support for feudalism in Mapamba. Oh, there we go. 
So, yeah, we just get feudalism there. And then we just have to... Get some more ducats, and we'll have it. Oh, you know what? Uh, there's actually a real quick way we can get these ducats. By going into the Merchant's Guilds. We're much bigger now, much bigger loans. Head down there, deal with them Separatists. We are going to embrace fruit, em, embrace feudalism, embrace feudalism. Take both our techs for very cheap. And I think that is a good place to call the episode. Um, okay, so we are over our force limit. We're losing money because of that, but we can deal with that in short order. We will be looking to expand again. Uh, so we'll get our guys in position, we'll deal with our rebels, and get this all taken care of. So, if you like the series, or if you like the video, I'd appreciate a like. If you really like the video, I'd appreciate a uh, subscription so you can follow along with the series. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.